Memories at risk of being lost forever. Right now at 5.30, an update to the story of hundreds of people in New Jersey fighting for access to their flood damaged storage units before everything is tossed in the trash. Welcome back. I'm Christine Johnson. And I'm Maurice Dubois. You first saw the story here on CBS2 yesterday. And tonight we have an update. A court injunction has been issued on behalf of a customer. But right now, so many other people and their possessions remain in limbo. CBS2's Meg Baker has the latest. You have a little bit of hope, just some. Public storage on Route 22 in Scotch Plains will be served an injunction from a judge stopping the company from throwing out Mary Jean Murphy's belongings. But for now, only hers. So we're hoping that by him granting our injunction that others too will be granted the same. The injunction will also allow Murphy to hire a remediation company to go through her belongings, or what she calls 35 years of memories. Unfortunately, it may be too late for some. Men in hazmat suits were seen throwing bags of items in dumpsters this week. In an email to customers, Public Storage informed them that a third party vendor was hired to assist in the evaluation and remediation of the units, saying, We had originally hoped to provide customers access to salvageable items, but unfortunately, our vendor has determined that any items stored in units on the lower level are unsalvageable, hazardous, and must be declared a total loss. I would love to just be able to go through my stuff and make a decision myself, um, have some closure, uh, decide whether things can be saved or can't be saved, as opposed to someone making that decision for us. Bridget McGowan's entire life was stored here as she closed on a house. Um, we just had a baby two months ago, and we have a three year old, and we lost everything um, all of our furniture, all of my clothes, all of our sentimental items. You reached the corporate offices of public storage. I emailed and called and left another message for public storage as well as the consultant vendor. Silence. No one has gotten back to me. You can see we're a distance away from the building, but even from here, you can smell the mold and the mildew. We're 40 days out. It's terrible what they've done. Really, it is. It's, uh, they made matters much worse because things are much more damaged than they were. It would have been weeks ago. So now we're being told that there's mold and bacteria on everything when if we had been able to get in immediately, maybe some of those items would have been salvageable. Others say they are now hiring lawyers and hoping for the same success Murphy found and praying their items still exist. In Scotch Plains, New Jersey, Meg Baker, CBS 2 News.